Hey guys, it's Mahel here and today I'm going to be bringing you something a little different to a study video. It's going to be a desk tour and this is the very desk that I used when revising for my A-levels which then got me ABB. Now I might sound a bit different but that's because I'm still a bit ill. Uh, if you didn't check to see the update on the YouTube, I did say that I was ill. I'm feeling much better now but I'm still a bit ill. Uh, so if I do sound different then that's why. And if I do look a bit off, then that's also why. But most of the video, you won't even be seeing me, you'll be seeing my desk. But let's get right into it. So as you walk into the room, here you have a bed, but we're not going to look at that. You have the whole desk set up. So I've got three monitors. You've got a nice little keyboard here, which if you press, this is what goes. Then it becomes like that. Uh, but we're going to start. So here you have a gaming chair from Cursus. I believe it is the EVOS 200. I'm going to get into that later on. But uh, products that I do mention, the, the, the purchase links will be in the description. And if you do want to purchase it, then they'll be in the description. But we're going to start with the desk and then we'll go underneath as well. But over here we have a Logitech, I believe it's a G933 headset. It's a really good headset, like really good. And you can see it's got really nice LEDs here. It's even got LEDs on the other side as well. But I really like this headset because not only is it good for gaming, it's really good for music as well because of the amount of bass it has, but the sound quality isn't distorted either. The sound quality is right good, quite good as well. And then moving on from there, we have a monitor. So this is one of three monitors, as you can see. And they are all the same. It is an Asus monitor. It's 24 inches. I can't remember what model, but I will put that in the description. And it does really well because it's got one mill millisecond response time, so it's also good for gaming. And sometimes I do game on this setup, so really useful. And then uh, we're going to go down here. So you have a daily fragrance. It is an oud al layl. I'm really sorry if you're Arabic and I pronounced it really badly, but it's quite cheap. It's only about twelve pounds. And it's just a daily fragrance that I use. It's an eau de parfum. Again, I'm sorry for mispronouncing it, but you can see, quite nice. But uh, here we have the monitor again, but on top we have a Logitech C920 webcam. Now this webcam is very good if you're starting on YouTube. This is what I had before going for a proper camera setup. Because right now I'm filming on a Canon G7X Mark II, which would usually be on this desk when I'm not filming. But underneath we have a stand as well, holding all these three monitors. So this is a Von House stand, I wouldn't recommend it. Why I wouldn't recommend it is because as you can see, if you've got OCD you're not going to like that at all. Or if you just really dislike things not being like together and there uh, being spaces, it really isn't nice. I don't mind it too much, I mean you don't really notice it too much. But I can see why people would complain. Uh, but other than that, it does hold three monitors really well. It was about £52, that's the only downside as well. The fact that it was quite expensive. But then again, other ones from like, let's say, Curry's, you can spend about £200. So in comparison, it's a good price, but still kind of expensive. Now, seeing we have another monitor here, we're going to go down. And I have an iPad uh, Mini 2 resting here. It's quite an old iPad now, I don't even use it, it's just sitting on the table. And then we have a RAV Power uh, smart ba uh, power bank. So it is 15,000 uh, mAh I believe. So that's about 6 iPhone charges, which is really good in my opinion. And obviously always got a cup of coffee. And I know people comment that it's from right here in London. Uh, if you're Asian you'll know. And then here we have a mouse, with, this is the Logitech Gaming G900, I believe. Wireless mouse, so as you can see, if I move this about, you can see the cursor, really good. And it's got a really long uh, battery life as well. You might be wondering, Mahel, why do you have so many cables? I'm not really a cable management sort of person, because I just leave this cable here, for example, which goes to charge the mouse when it is running low. It does flash on camera but it doesn't flash on the actual uh, mouse unless I set it to that and over here we have a really nice RGB keyboard it is a SteelSeries Apex M800 now again links will be in the description below but 
I was actually sent this by Steel Series a while ago and it's just been my daily driver ever since. Same with the uh, Logitech uh, products, so the mouse and uh, headset. But honestly, they are actually good products, not just because I sent them, and again, I sent them ages ago, so I don't even have to promote them. But I do actually like the headset as well as the mouse. Although the keyboard, the only thing I don't like about it is that it doesn't uh, have a very good response to music. I think they've added a music uh, flashing feature in now, I can't remember. Uh, but it's not quite like a Razer keyboard. But Razer keyboards are also more expensive than this. And then we are going to go to the back of the actual setup. So. Over here we have a bit of Febreze, obviously, got to keep the room smelling nice. I've um, got a little pot where I just keep things like cash, uh, sunglasses, scissors, and a few other random things. Got some links here. This is a really nice links. Links have up their game. Oud, wood, and dark vanilla, all day fresh. Smells really nice. And then back here, you might be wondering what this clear thing is. This is a Harman Kardon sound stick and let me tell you it sounds amazing because if you go underneath I'll show you this after and sorry for the mess like I said I'm not a cable management person this is the subwoofer for the um, Harman Kardon sound sticks and then you've got another one here obviously and if you, I take you over to this side here is what I use for microphone uh, when I'm not uh, recording directly from the camera when I'm doing a voiceover for example so this is a blue Yeti. I do also have a blue Spark Digital, but I'm not sure. Whilst the Spark Digital is supposed to be better, I just prefer the Yeti. So this is why I use Yeti, and it's obviously got a um, uh, pop filter, that's it. So you got a pop filter as well as a blue Yeti. And then we got over here, there's a bit of a mess, sorry. This is the head cushion. It has my name on it, Mahel Khan, um, from Cursus. So it goes with the chair. But I personally don't like the head cushion, so I don't use that. We have a Canon bag where I usually store my uh, DSLR. I do have a DSLR as well uh, when I do take it out, but that's rarely. That's why it's been gathering dust, as you can see. We have a MacBook Air uh, case. Let me see that. Xbox 360 controller. So I do keep an Xbox 360 here because uh, I used to play it at one point. And I was supposed to complete Red Dead Redemption number one. Never got around to doing that, so it's just been sitting here gathering dust ever since. And then you go underneath again, like I said, sorry for the mess, but that is the subwoofer. So the clear thing is the subwoofer for the Harman Cardons, and like I said, it produces really nice bass, really clear, and just really good. I mean, the speakers did cost about 110 pounds, but I would definitely say they're worth it, and it just looks really nice. A clear design on a white desk. Just simply amazing. The next part we are going to go on to, and the final part, is this bad boy. The bad boy that powers all three of these monitors. Yes, it is my gaming PC. Like I said, I'm not a cable management person, so there are cables. This is just a micro USB cable that I use for this camera. Um, and I know it's a bit dusty, just haven't cleaned it in a while. It is a few years old now, but it does everything I need it to do right now, which is editing videos. However, I am going to look to upgrade in the future. Uh, it depends on, obviously, finances, because right now that is quite scarce. But inside, we have an AMD FX 6300 processor, which is overclocked to, I believe, 4 gigahertz. I can't remember exactly. And then we have an R9 285. Again, like I said, it's a, bit, it's a few years old now. And we have, uh, I'll put the full specs in the description as well as purchase links but it does really well and I built this myself actually I'm never gonna build a gaming PC again it was too much stress but I did build this myself and I'm quite proud of it because it is still running after a few years after gaming on it after editing on it and genuinely I'm sorry about this but <laughs> genuinely building a gaming PC is a really good idea instead of going for some standard computer like a OEM computer build your own and it will last you and do everything that you need it to do. In terms of relevancy to studying, so how does this, how is this relevant to how I study? Well, basically, on one screen, so the one on the left, I would have Spotify, for example, because 
that monitor was just free. In the middle, I would have Google Chrome where I have YouTube videos, for example, Mr. Evans Business when I'm revising A Level Business. And then on the right, I would have Microsoft Word open so I'd be able to make notes or even have his PowerPoints open uh, whilst watching the videos. This isn't needed, you don't even need three monitors, you don't even need two monitors. One is fine, like you could just use laptop. And I don't have my MacBook Air on me right now, otherwise it would be on this desk. But that is what I use when I'm not using this computer setup. But I just thought I'd give you an insight into what I use uh, for studying as well as making YouTube videos. But I will make a proper video on how I make my YouTube videos in the future. Um, and really, also I just didn't want to let you be without content for like three weeks because obviously I'm going to uni but in the meantime I don't have much to upload and I'm kind of feel right now like you can hear, probably hear it but it's just I just want to give you a further insight into my life and this is how I personally edit my videos and also study so if you did enjoy this video then make sure to leave like comment below and subscribe follow me on social media that's at Mihail Khan on Instagram official Mihail Khan on Facebook and at Mihail X on Twitter those links will be in the description below please follow me on Instagram uh, that is at Mihail Khan again I will be posting exclusive uh, content from the University of Nottingham on there on the stories or on the post you won't see it anywhere else so be sure to follow me on there to stay up to date with myself and also get information that no one else will have also let me know in the dis uh, in the comments rather what you want to see from me I know people have requested things like stationary hall, back to school videos, um, sick form advice and I'm going to try and cover as much as I can. Like I said, right now I'm kind of ill so it's be a bit weird to give you advice whilst ill. Um, you don't really want to see me while I'm ill. So I need to recover first and then I'll be working on producing different videos. But this has been Mahel and I will see you in the next one. Peace.